Hey, I'm Justin Peters. I'm Kelly Buttermore. We are from Justin to Kelly from New York. We judge our sets based on uh, whether we have to change our shirts like afterwards. <laughs> and I, I totally do. So. And I do too, so that's, uh, it's a, good set. It's a good sign. Like, if you got a show that's like really sort of like resonates like emotionally and really like hits, you can't have that without trust. Yeah. And I mean, it, it's funny, right? It's, like, yeah. at, at the beginning when you first start doing like improv, like, fear can like lead you to uh, like go for like cheap laughs and like sell out like your. Uh, your scene partner, then you like improve and spend more time and you stop being afraid. But I think then you can also get to a point where when you stop being afraid, you start being too comfortable. You start being right? complacent. I yeah, you start yeah. being complacent. So we sort of found ourselves at that point like uh, a couple of years ago and we decided, you know, let's start uh, time to bring fear. Let's run towards the fear instead of away from it. Exactly. You know? It, it, it wouldn't be true to the characters to sort of like start by like just like saying like well here's who we are and here's where we are and what we're doing because presumably I, they already did that an hour ago and I think it's about trusting the audience too, yeah because yeah. like the audience is smart you know like they'll catch up with you so what we don't need is a bunch of expository details we don't need to like know where we just were like for us it's like let's drop us all um, right in the middle of this Ultimately, this is like theater. People paid money to come and have like a good time. You just want to do it to sort of like please like yourself and have fun. Like, great, that's what basements are for. You know? <laughs> like, um, in the end, like you have to sort of like think of the audience and like give them like a good show. But also, you don't necessarily have to pander to them, right? No. Yeah. If the audience knows you're committing hard to whatever you're doing, right? They'll be with you, even if they don't necessarily or immediately know what it is that you're doing. Uh, but if they can tell that, like, you're in it, and, like, you're, whatever motion or, like, whatever you're doing, you're doing it hard, you're not getting out of it, they'll be like, all right, I'll, I'll stick around and see where this goes. Audiences can be engaged on multiple levels, so it's not just, if they're not laughing, it doesn't mean they're done, they're not, with you, yeah. you know, yeah, exactly. um, and you can, and then like obviously the flip of that, you can tell when they're not with you. Um, but I love that feeling of like when those laughs come, it's great. But I also just love the feeling of people just watching, you know. Oh, I think it's great. Oh, man.